So I guess now we are almost live. So we say shalom everybody. Is my voice like low or it is high enough for you? Is it clear? All right. What about people at Ramble? Let us see. How people at Ramble, they hear me. Is my voice as good in Ramble, guys? Somebody saying the voice is distorted. Hmm. Am I heard in Rumble? Nobody is saying anything. Not yet, there is no voice in Rumble. Huh. In Rumble, they don't even have a voice. That's a good one. Okay. Why they don't have a voice? Okay, do you hear me now? Am I heard in Ramble? You hear me? All right. Uh, sorry, guys, you know, we have some technical difficulty. I just called one of my seven engineers uh, who they are all girls. I don't hire men, to be honest with you. F you know, I mean, why anyone want to hire men? They don't even look good. They don't have nice hair. They don't look attractive. They have voice like uh, scary, you know, like, hello, what are you doing, sir? You know, you will hire a girl, you know, she is beautiful. She is smart. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, especially if you are a doctor and you have an x-ray machine, you can enjoy the scenery. Uh, you might be wondering what is this you know this is what Allah he promised us in heaven so today we will uh, discuss with Muslims if there is anyone would like to discuss with us what kind of a promise does God is a promise in us uh, we are now in discord and let us share the screen in discord all right Can you see it in Discord, guys? You can see? All right. Well, I don't want to talk, you know, I don't like to put my pictures of my future wives in the internet. But she is for sure, she got all the, you know, all the clicks. Except one thing, the high heels. I, I have a phobia from those high heels, you know. I saw a movie where the uh, it's written in the book of Ibn Kathir when the king he came to sleep with the wife of Suleiman but at that time she is not the wife of Suleiman yet so she told him get inside the palace when he got in she chopped his head with her high heel shoes and like since then I was like you know what I have I don't even get too close to women they have high heels I don't even say hello like I see them from a distance of 10 miles away uh, I change my direction I take the exit you know uh, but generally speaking she is so beautiful you know there's no question about that look at the bones look at those beautiful bones do we have any Muslim want to explain to us why Allah he promised us such women we will see their marrow of their bones any Muslim would like to join us in Rumble from Rumble, from YouTube, from, uh, from, from, you know, whatever from you would like to share with us. Any Muhammadan? You know, you hear a lot of people speaking about Islam is amazing and, you know, I know, I mean, Islam is the most stupid cult ever. The promises is silly. The heaven is silly. The God is silly. The image is a city. What is that? Hmm? 
What is this? Any Mohammedan would like to join us? I heard that there is some names in Discord when I am not here. They use a very bad, filthy language. So I want to ask the admins, anyone who do such a use a, such a bad language, like the F word, I don't care. He claimed to be Christian. He claimed to be Hindu, Jews, just to block him. You have my permission. Just to let you know. Anyone use a bad language, free shipping and handling. Let them go, you know, clean their mouth with some camel urine and bring come back. <clears throat> this Muslim saying to me, Christian Prince, your issue is you are trying to blaspheming hard and insulting other religion and cult to win them leave and not have respectful debate with you. Once you apologize, your blasphemy, I am ready to have long, long debate with you. No shit. <laughs> I mean, look, he's talking, a piece of shit talking about apologizing. You believe, you call us najis, which means shit. You call us uh, 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 worse of our creatures, worse than animals. <laughs> and you are talking about <laughs> insulting, a piece of garbage. I mean, this is what you like, what I like about the Muhammadan. They are the most insulting, the most filthy, and then they speak about respect. Did I say the word shit? I did not even describe how shitty you are. You never called anyone Najis? You call us Nasara, look at the name. You call yourself the hunter of Nasara. <laughs> this guy is a hunter. He hunted Nasara, by the way, Nasara is an insult to the Christians. We are not Nasara, what Nasara is? That's why we call them Muhammadan. They insult us. They call us Nasara. And he called himself the hunter. You are a potato. And we are here to hunt you. Do you dare? No, well, come to the stage. You talk about apology. Do you apologize for your prophet raping women? Kidnapping women from their husbands? Making verses in the Quran saying you can have sex with married women? Married women? They have a husband, a life. What a filthy cult you are. It doesn't matter if you say anything or not. The Quran says, aren't you a Muslim? <laughs> so this guy, he is saying he want to debate me about Islam, but he don't accept Islam then. He don't accept the Quran saying Najis. He said, I never called you Najis. Look like he don't accept his book. Don't, don't do drama. You want to come and uh, jump to the stage? J jump. You want to talk about what you can do? Get lost. Yeah, well, we don't bless me because your God is the devil. Get out of here. I'm not here to argue about somebody want to debate me or not. You want to debate? Come, come here. You don't want to debate? Get out. All right. Do we have a blasphemy against what? Against the devil. <laughs> Muhammad is the devil himself. Don't you see what your prophet promised you? Look at the pictures. Is that an insult to your brain, if you have any? What kind of a prophet he promised you this? Is that a promise of God? Is that a promise of God, what you see in the screen? Is that really from God? Who is a Muslim? He dare to say, yes, this is from God. You see, you yourself, Muslim, you know that this is shameful. And this is why you don't dare to speak about it. Do you accept my apology in the behalf of CP? Why you want to apologize in my behalf? Did I hire you as an ambassador for CP? One more time you say that, I will, I will, I will bounce you out. There is people, they speak in my name here. I have an ambassador. This guy, he decided to apologize in my name. I don't apologize to Muslims. 
and I will insult their prophet every day. They like it, they don't too care. Apologize in behalf of CP. That is something. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Anyone? Who is a brave Muslim would like to tell us what kind of God he promised you such a promise? In fact, you know, just to be honest with you, the the promise of Allah Prophet, police be upon him, he never mentioned high heels. Never. He just mentioned uh, the women, you see their more, more of their bones, like, like the whole picture except the high heels. So let's say the high heels is like an extra. All right, but it's beautiful, by the way. I mean, it's really sexy. Look at the beautiful arms. Look at this position. Oof, man, that's... You hey, Muslim, don't touch yourself. Don't. Shame on you. Don't do that. You have to wait until you go to heaven. They are waiting for you there. Look at this beautiful face. Any Mohammedan here dare to come to the mic? Get out of here, stupid monkey. I have patience to nobody. Apologize, the Christian prince. Do you want me to insult your prophet before you leave? Your prophet is a piece of shit. Are you happy now? No? Here we go. Apologize. <laughs> He's asking who to apologize. Christian Prince. That's a good one. Do we have any Mohammedan? You know, when the Muslim they try to intimidate me, you should expect always the opposite. I'm the last one you can intimidate. Don't ever try that with me. Look at this. I mean, this girl, she is really playing on the X-ray machine. How an X-ray machine can do that? How big this X-ray machine? Well, you know what? This is the X-ray machine of Allah. And obviously, it's so big. Look at this. How she can do that? That's so beautiful. I know. I'm out of words. I don't know if I can describe it for you. Mm. Look at all those positions. I can't stop looking actually. You know me myself? I, I like every night before I go to sleep, I need to see them. I need to see the promise of Allah. You know, I hope I'm not making... If you are uh, single and you know, I hope you are not being tempted now. Uh, just I'm telling you, I mean, be, be nice, okay? Behave yourself. Any Muslim can tell us? I mean, look, look how silly... You do not even need to debate about this garbage religion. Look at this. This is the promise of their prophet. Their prophet, he says to them, that in the heaven, those women, they are waiting for you. First, Allah will make you so white. When you enter heaven, Allah will make you so white. Very important. He don't want to make you African, you know. The condition of to be in heaven to be very white. You see here, they are saying glittering. It's talking about so white, uh, like the moon at night. And the patch next to them will be glittering like the most brilliant star. According to stupid Muhammad, moon is more bright than the star. Huh. Uh, astronomy. This is the astronomy of a prophet, Muhammad. Police be upon him. Right? Right? 
And then he says, their heart will be as the heart of single man, which one single man, and they will neither have enmity or jealousy among themselves, which means you look at my wife, I look at your wife, nobody jealous, don't worry. For they will have neither enmity or jealousy among themselves. Everyone will have wives, two wives from the Hories, who will be so beautiful, pure, transparent, to the point the marrow of their bones, of their legs, will be seen through the bones and the flesh. And as you see, this is a very authentic hadith. The Muslim, they cannot say, the Muhammadan, they cannot say this is false. How this is, can be from God? Any Muslim want to discuss it with us? Is that really what heaven is about? And this is what is waiting for us? Women like this, which is so beautiful. Uh oh, what is that? Ad advertising. <coughs> oh boy. Women in the bikini <coughs> and the advertising. Uh, so, any Muslim would like to join us? You know, uh, sometimes I have a fear of like a backward, uh, you know, impact. Like many, some, some they might convert to Islam after this. Because somebody, he might be like, he is the kind of a dog, you know? He's a doggy. He see the bones like, oh, 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 you know? So his saliva will be running. Is that a promise for dogs or for a human being? What the uh, marrow and what? Since when? Beauty is about seeing the marrow of a woman. Any the marrow bones, the marrow. Horo moro. Look at the beautiful. I think she is taking a, a sun tan now, maybe. I'm not sure really what this position present. It might be, but it's in the dark. Why she is taking sun tan? There's no sun. Any Muhammadan? See how easy they go silence, they go so mute. Do you see it? Very easy. Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us? That would be very disappointing. I'm discriminating about bigger women. Yeah, guys, who is the one who invited this guy to my stage? How many times I say to you, don't invite him. Should I block him so you don't invite him here? Who is the one who invited this guy? What's wrong with you, admins? And he is saying to me, you're discriminating big women. Are you an idiot? You can't see the meat anyway. You see bones. So what big women? I mean, your IQ, you are a Muslim, and I understand why your IQ is so low. If we are seeing just bones, what is the, how you know big women or skinny women? We don't see, uh, we see bones. Idiot. Why not? Don't bring him here. He's an, he don't know anything. This guy is just a, a joke. Why not? And why you are telling me why not? Is that a choice or my choice? I say I don't want this guy, I don't want this guy. You want to debate him, you know, make a stage and take him to yourself. Have fun. I donate him for you, for free. <laughs> why not? He's asking me why not. I mean, what kind of admins they are asking me why not? Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Hello?
It's okay, no customers, no customers, who care? We are having fun. But this is showing you how Muslims, when they see this, they knew right away that this is very stupid. You know, they make speeches about Islam, how Islam is the most trashy, garbage religion. If we can't quote even religion, I mean, what is the religion and the religion? It's just there is a God, he is supposed to be one, and if you bow down your head to him and obey Muhammad, but nobody knows how to obey Muhammad because Muhammad, he made uh, thousands of commands and they contradict them at each other. So now we have tens of thousands of sects and each one of them, he accept this hadith, don't accept this command, he don't accept this done. This is weak, this is daif, this is rejected, this is accepted. And every sect accept as you wish or reject as they wish. And then in the top of that, this is the most authentic. The women in heaven, they will be like this. So you pray all your life, you bend over, non-stop, slave of Allah, to get what? To get this? Somebody asking me about the attack of Israel strike on Iran embassy. I say this is a waste of time. Until now, Israeli are not doing a good job, if you look in the way I see it. If you want to, you see, the Israeli they wasted a lot of time. When Trump, he was a president, they did not attack Iran and destroy their nuclear facility. Stupid Netanyahu. You know, very stupid. They got a president who support them in full support. This is the best time. Trump is gone. Now they have Joe Biden and a Democrat. How fun with that. They don't even have, they are not even giving them weapon no more. They are even threatening them. They vote against them in the United Nations. And killing uh, uh, like an army uh, general in the Iranian army, <laughs> they have a million general. Uh, kill one way or second one. Life doesn't matter for those people, you see. Like if you kill a general in the Israeli army, this is a big deal. But for those people, uh, human life doesn't mean anything. So the Israeli did not get the game yet that you don't, you, you know, it's not about a casualty. Of personnel will change things. It's about casualty of equality of warfare weapon. So if the Israeli want to do a big change in Iran, they should attack and destroy all the war facility, which is the the drone making manufacturer, the missiles. They yeah, they destroy their capability of making war. You kill a soldier here, ten there, who cares? Those they make babies every day, you know. You kill one, there is a billion. So the Israeli <coughs> they are not really and this is how they this is the way I see it, you know, you don't have to agree with me, right? You don't have to agree with me, but the way I see it, this is not how you win a war. <coughs> this is not even a war. This is a joke. Some they might see it a victory. But the only thing I see that obviously Israel they are showing the world that Iran is uh, is nothing. Otherwise, where is the response? Here we go. What you can do? You will send Hezbollah to send some rockets. Yeah. We change the topic because there is no customers. <clears throat> but this is not how to wage war on your enemy. They are not even touching like the only place now <clears throat> I mean even the war in Gaza the start is wrong and instead of going to the first you go to Rafah and then you separate Gaza from Egypt because all the weapon is coming from there everything is coming from there so look what they did they start from the north <laughs> which is okay Gaza is there but Gaza don't have weapon without Egypt. The border of Egypt is the problem. So instead of going first to Rafah, and then go to north, 
because they are they have nowhere to run. That's it. They are cornered, totally cornered. Anyway, I, I don't know what to say. In in my opinion, uh, Netanyahu is an is not a smart person. Because at the end of the day, the one who bring victory is a leader, not an army. You know, if you have the most powerful army in the world and you have an idiot leader, you will lose. <clears throat> All right. How about Hamas? Uh, you know, first of all, Hamas is not just members. Hamas is Turkey, Hamas is Qatar. You know, if the Israeli are smart, they should... The first thing they should do is to attack Qatar. Because Hamas have no money, have no weapon, if, no, if the money of Qatar is not coming like rain. Qatar is the bank. So they are wasting their time. You go, you kill 20,000, 30,000 of Hamas. Okay. 10 years from now, they will have 30, 40,000 money as long as the money is coming. Yeah. Did you hear about Salin Mika? I don't know what is that. Salina Mika. <clears throat> All right. CP, is Paul really messenger of Allah or this is false? Can you go through this? Okay. Are you a Muslim? Corey? Gori? Are you a Muslim asking? I believe in God, but I don't know which one. Oh, okay. I see. Which one? There's many there's many gods. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Well, you know, for me, when I say Paul in the Quran, I'm not trying to insult Paul because Paul is way higher than such a stupid book to have his name in. But uh, Muhammad, obviously, uh, he copies stories from the Christians and the Jews as usual and then he uh, you know he made the stories about them in the Quran so it's not me who is saying Paul is in the Quran this is all the Islamic interpretation so if you go to chapter uh, 5 verse number 81 uh, or let us see uh, or like, you know, chapter of An'am, verse number 18, 20, chapter 6, verse 18, chapter 5, verse 15, chapter, uh, you go to the book of Al-Bidayah and Nihaya Ibn Kathir, I mean, tons, or uh, uh, Tafsir Al-Lusi, uh, Tafsir uh, uh, Ibn Ashur, I mean, all the Islamic Tafsir says that, not me. Tons of Islamic tafsir says this is Paul, this is about Paul. <coughs> Including Ibn Kathir. Mursal and Rasul in Arabic have different meaning. Mursal. Mursal, there is, uh, maybe you are talking about a different word. Uh, <clears throat> Mursal usually like uh, as an example in the Quran it says Inna ilaykum mursilun so 
Mursalun, which means we are sent to you. So this is why the word uh, Risala in Arabic means letter. Letter, you know. So if you go to the Quran, See, chapter 36, verse number 14. This is the verse you are talking about. And then, chapter 36, verse number 16. Which means, we are being sent to you. All right? And then you read the interpretation, one after one. You will see, all of them, they agree that this is Paul. Uh, let me show you something. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? Anyone? Nobody? All Muslims are so confident. <clears throat> As an example, this is the book of Al Bidaya and An Nihaya for Ibn Kathir. And right away, you will see the name of Paul appearing. The first two messengers, they were Shema'un, which means Simon Peter, and John, and the third is Paulus. Can you see the window and the translation, or you cannot see it? You can see it, right? It appear, right? If I highlight, does it appear in your side? <clears throat> yeah, so I highlighted the sentence, as you see. The first two apostles, Simon and John, and the third name was Paul. And this is what? This is Ibn Kathir. Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya, variant number two, page number 11. See it? Yeah. And we can keep uh, showing reference after reference, you know. Uh, but after all, you know, the Muslim doesn't matter how much you show them from their books. They are in denial because simply they are following the devil. How many times we show them reference and proofs? I can show tons of reference about this from your, from their books. Still, they will hear. They heard nothing. They say nothing. It's not there. You know, it's in the front of you. This is your books. This is your scars. All right. Even the companion of Muhammad, they confirmed that this is Paul. Still, they heard nothing, they saw nothing. This is, let me post this link first, one by one. And maybe the admin, they can help to post a ramble. And in YouTube, if you don't mind. So the first link I'm posting is Al-Bidaya and nihaya Ibn Kathir. And now we go to other one. This is called at the Adur al Manthur Tafsir by Imam al Suyuti. And right away we will see the name, the name of Paul. 
is there. So here it says the first two messengers is Simon Peter and the third is Paul. Let us use translation. Here we go. I guess it's clear, right? You see it? Is the English text is so small? Can you guys in YouTube read it? And ramble? I hope so. And this is the second link. As you see, this is their scholars. This is not a joke. It's not a Christian prince saying things. That's what their book saying. Still, they heard nothing. They saw nothing. Right? Uh, let us see another book. The book of Fathul Bari. The interpretation of Sahih al-Bukhari. Let us see. Here we go. This is Fathul Bari. Fathul Bari simply is a book explaining Al Bukhari. Now, this is Shia library, but the book is a Muslim Sunni. And here it says again the same story reported, reported, you know, it's about Paul. Here we go. And this is the translation, as you see in Arabic to English. The names of the two apostles were Simon and John, and the name of the third was Paul. On the authority of Qutada, they were the messengers of a Christ to the land, uh, to, uh, to Antioch, the city of Antioch. Like I did not show the rest of the verse. Do you see it? Yeah, here we go. This is the link. I hope the admin they can show it. They can post it and ramble and in YouTube. I can give keep giving you from now until next year and you know. So why Muslims they attack Paul? This is uh, you know Muslim they were looking like this is new. They were looking for someone to attack, you know, in Islam they have a problem. Like now I can call Muhammad a donkey. Right? But uh, Muslim, they cannot say the same about Isa because supposed he is a prophet. So they have to blame somebody else. Who is the most conservative Jew between the disciples? It's Paul. Do we have any Muhammadan? And we are not done. We can show you more. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, for... In fact, even Islamic uh, books, like as an example, the book of Ibn Ashur, uh, uh, you know, he quote how the pagan people of Antioch, uh, they saw the miracles of Paul. Uh, let us see. As an example, not limited. This is Ibn Ashur, 
interpretation. And here you will see that those are about, this is the interpretation for the verse, chapter 36, verse number 15, 14, 16, uh, 15. And then he says, the people of Antioch, Antioch, uh, you know, I mean, they read, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they saw the miracles of Paul the prophet. So here even Paul is called a prophet. I don't know if I can zoom. Yeah, here we go. Now you can see the translation is better. Oh, there is even a play. Uh, sound. Let us play sound. The people of Antioch and its neighboring cities were a mixture of Jews and idolaters from Greece. His saying, you are only human beings like us, is appropriate to come from idolaters, and it is apparent because they thought that the gods do not send messengers or inspire anyone. Therefore, it was stated in the book of Acts of the Apostles that some Greeks, the people of the city of Lystra, saw a miracle from the prophet Paul and spoke in a Greek language. <laughs> See? So the Muslims are not, uh, you know, so where this is uh, Paul is an enemy of Allah, this is uh, these days, you know, the Muslims are looking for an enemy for Allah. And uh, we have to find somebody to blame. That is, was Paul. Otherwise, if Paul is an enemy of Islam, why those books are saying this about him? What the problem? You know? <clears throat> Even Ibn Kathir, he confirmed uh, that Paul, he become blind because he was coming to kill the Messiah. And then uh, the Messiah, he forgive him and he repent. Uh, you know, Paul, he repent. And the Messiah, uh, he asked the Messiah to make him see again. And he become a wonderful uh, uh, believer, and he believe in Allah, uh, and he is a uh, you know uh, believe in the Messiah. Right? True story. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan here? What do you think about Sahara? Sand can make make it to Germany and other countries from Europe, or is someone it is planned at night, date, or time? I don't know what you mean by Sahara Desert is moving to Germany. That even would be nice. You know, maybe if this is the scenario, what about moving Thailand to Germany? If you watch a video about Thailand, you don't see Thai people in the street, you see white people there. <laughs> All of Europe is there. <laughs> Europe is left empty to the migrant, and the European, they are in Thailand, drinking beer. So what uh, the Sahara Desert is moving to Germany? I'm not sure how that... Uh, so the Sahara Desert will move over the sea? Like the desert will move in the sea and cover the sea and then go to Germany? Do you know where the Sahara Desert is? They are in Thailand mostly for girls? Not necessarily. It might be even some they are going for boys. <laughs> and some of them they are, uh, you know. Yeah. But you know, not everybody go to Thailand is going there as a sex tourist. But uh, this country is a become sick country, really. Very sick.
Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Actually, w when I went to Thailand, I was, I like to walk, you know, and I walk in an area. <coughs> I went, I enter into an area, and there is a restaurant in both sides. Both sides, there is a restaurant. But I did not see a single woman in both sides. And then I figure out what is going on. This was only homosexual. And the customers, the one who is sitting at the table, you can tell because Thai people, they look different, right? They are either European or uh, Arab or Indian. I mean, there's from all, but there's a lot of European, uh, a lot of Indian, a lot of Arab. Uh, and they have uh, young boys, you know, maybe they are in their 20. Uh, they, they are, they, the boys are serving the, uh, the customers. They are topless. Very sick. Uh, what you can say? Thank God there is no nobody have a camera at that time and take say CP is going to the. <laughs> Actually, I was recording. By the way, I was rec I was I was walking and recording with uh, I, I think with my phone uh, when I saw that. And then I was like trying to escape because they keep inviting me. Hello, sir. Join here, sir. Come on, you know, like, uh, what the heck? Very sick. Yeah. Anyway, you know, uh, the, uh, as I always say, flies go to the garbage and bees go to the flower so in thailand there is flowers and there are garbage and you go where you belong right everyone goes where he belong <clears throat> and you do not need to go to thailand to to join the garbage i mean there's garbage everywhere you do not need to go anywhere <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? I think the best time Thailand was when there is no people there. It was Corona time, so the lucky one is the one who was there. But I think you have to be you, you will be stuck in the country because they stop airplanes, but. The beaches was empty, really beautiful. The country is really clean. All the casinos, all night club is closed down. So maybe it's a message from God, and maybe it's going to happen again, you know. So the sick people they, who was making money out of those uh, women, I don't know what to say. I mean, there is something wrong in the culture too, I think, there. Because look like they don't, uh, they don't see it as something shameful, you know, like as a business. I saw Thai girls come into the monk, the Buddhist monk, and they give him donation, and then they go in front of him, they bow down, and he is saying like a prayer. So it looked like it's normal. It's not like something, you know. Uh, yeah, it's like the religion don't. This like encourage like it encourages somehow. <clears throat> Were you in Pattaya? Yeah, I went to Pattaya. Actually, in I think yeah, maybe in Pattaya or Bangkok. I don't know. I, I visited the temple. And the first one I saw in the door was a blonde guy. He became a Buddhist. So I said to him, can we talk? You know, why you became Buddhist? He said, I am not here to explain to you myself. I'm now being myself, finally. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so he refused to, uh, to talk to me. Yeah.
a lot of weirdo. Uh, actually, in uh, in Pattaya, I was there, and there is like a you know market where you can buy food, and you sit in the table. <clears throat> so I bought some food, and I sit on the counter, and I'm done, you know. But I'm not like I'm not moving right away. I'm not like I'm done, but I'm not moving. And then there's a guy. He's Russian. He came to me, and he spoke Russian. He thought maybe I'm Russian or something. I said English. He said, if you are done, move. I said, I'm not done and I'm not moving. You know, I don't like the tone he spoke to me. He didn't say like, please. You know, if he said please, I would say, you know, I'll give him my place. So he was speaking like uh, as if he's giving, giving command. And he is like as a person, as a huge, you know. Uh, and he starts screaming and, you know, you know, and I am not listening. I don't even care. He thought he can intimidate me. I was laughing at him. I said, I will never move from here. In your dream. Until tomorrow in the morning. Move me if you are a man. <laughs> he don't dare to touch me anyway. Yeah. It was his lucky day. Uh... Yeah, you know, if you go to those countries, you will find a lot of trashy people, a lot of garbage. You might get into fight. People who they are in drugs, people who they are in drinking. Uh, even you are not going anywhere bad, like, you know, you're going to eat, right? But you never know. A lot of garbage people there. I don't think Ibn Abbas mentioned Paul. You don't think. I like that. <laughs> well, as long as you don't think that even better. <coughs> anyway, do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? Nobody? Actually, the, the Thai language is one of the languages I don't like at all. Very uncomfortable. I don't like to hear it. Because they extend the word, you know, like to say something, they have to make it like long, like a, like a gum. <clears throat> no, I'm not roasting in Thailand. You see, the, the 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 garbage, the garbage are trying to extend. So now they are trying to open bars and etc. They are trying to move Thailand to to Philippines and uh, to many places. You know, if you allow the mafia to take over a place, especially if the government is corrupt, then instead of opening schools, you will find more nightclubs. And instead of making manufacturers, we will find more prostitution you know uh, so we don't oh, we don't make jobs we don't create jobs so we can force girls to look for a job which is not even a job and those job you know is a threat to national security because those can spread diseases every trashy person from the world will come to visit you you know uh, tourism this is not tourism like there's a tourist is coming to the to your beach to your restaurant, that's good, you know. He will spend his money, he will rent a hotel. But sex tourism is very dangerous uh, because simply they spread diseases. And those people usually, they can be a predator. They are not even looking for a woman. They might, might be looking for kids. There's a lot of sick people.
رسول مين بت رسول مين I don't know, yeah, I know, Gauri. Do you speak, uh, 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 do you speak Arabic? Uh, just to show you, you know, I'm not trying to be rude to you, Gauri, but read with me. إِذْ أَرْسَلْنَا Who is talking? Allah. So who is the one who sent it to them? Allah. That make them what? Messengers of Allah. So don't repeat the same thing. I mean, don't be silly. We sent into them. Two. Who sent them? Allah. What to do what? To play music. They said to them, You are just a human being like us. They said, Oh Lord, if they knew that it's we are sent by you. <laughs> to them. He said to them, your duty only is to report and to deliver the message. So they are messengers. A messenger is a prophet. You see, when uh, when somebody says to you, uh, there's a difference between messenger and a prophet. If the, if the person is a human and he is a messenger, he is a prophet right away. What does that mean? When I deliver a message from God, who knows this message beside me and the God who told me? Nobody. That is a prophecy. What is the message of messengers? Something nobody knows yet. At least for those people. So when I deliver a message coming from God, I am in the same time prophesying for them. For all message of God is a prophecy. If you don't believe in me, this will happen to you. Prophecy. Prophecy is about something will happen in the future. So you can be a messenger and you are not a prophet. You can be a messenger and not a prophet if you are an angel. You deliver a message to a person and that person then, if you've been taught to tell it to others, that make him a messenger. A messenger of a messenger. Like Muhammad, he never received command from his God, he received command through supposedly Jibreel. So how Muhammad became a prophet? When he himself is a messenger of a messenger. When the Messiah, he command his disciples, the Messiah is not a messenger. The Messiah is God on earth. His disciples are the messengers and the prophets. They prophesy in his name. All right. I will get a bunch of Abdul in TikTok. Will TikTok will block me in, in two seconds? Do we have any Mohammedan there to join us? Anyone? So Rasula and Mursalun are the same. Well, as long you are more sent by God, you are sent by God. You see, the word is about who sent you. If I send you, it's the same word. Mursalun. But who is the one who sent you? So you can be, uh, uh, you can, like I send a group of people, they say to the other people, we are uh, more known to you from a Christian prince. But that does not make him a uh, messenger of God. Right? Here they are a messenger of God. So the word itself means nothing, unless, nothing, nothing special, because they are just sent by somebody unless they are sent by God. When you are sent by God, you are someone special, because not everyone is sent by God.
Muslim request to speak? Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Muslim. Muhammad is a messenger. He is special. He is a special. What is a special about him? He was chosen by God. What is the message Muhammad received from God? There is only one God. Where we can find the message Muhammad received from God saying there is only one God. In Hadith and in Quran. Alright. So I want you to read with me. Do you see my screen? Yes. Alright. <clears throat> Do you know Arabic or I have to show you in English? I don't know Arabic. Alright. So if we go in the Quran, we will find this. <clears throat> All right, we are almost there. Can you read this verse? Uh, do you have Quran with you? I can read it. Do you have Quran with you? No, no, no. Okay, you can read from my screen. Read for us. Had we intended to take a pastime, we would surely have taken it from us if we were going to do that. Hmm. You said the message to Muhammad that we have he have one God, but here it says, had we intended to take a pastime, i.e., and don't know why you skipped that, i.e., a wife or a son, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. So if Allah is one, and there is nothing like Allah, Allah will take partner from us. Who is us? Are you there? Um, Laguna, is that we talking about? I am showing you as you see in front of you. Allah want to take a partner. Arabic, what does Arabic say? I thought you don't speak Arabic. I don't, but... Uh, okay, I'll read for you in Arabic. لو أردنا أن نتخذ له وأن نتخذناه من لدنا إن كنا فاعلين. What does that make different for you? Nothing. You don't speak Arabic. So... من لدنا, what does that mean? From ourself, from our uh, our kind, from our blood. لدن, 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 my لدن, is my uh, offspring, my kind, you know. So, so in kunna, what does that mean? If what in what in kunna, in kunna fa'alin, if we are going to do so, but that will not change so anything. There's no, so there's no us in that. No, it says kunna. This is us. The the last letter here, two letters, na, is us. This is us. Kunna. The na. You add na. You know, that will make it us. So you okay. got here, you know, uh, actually the, the word Ladunna is one making it us too. But in Kunna Farin, if we here, this is the word uh, for Kunna, if we were to go, to go to do that. And you see Allah here, he used always the word we. So now we have two problems. Yeah. We have a problem that your God keeps saying we. But yet, you must then claim that he is one. So why he use we if he is one? And then, Allah, he says, if he want to take, as we, part-time, past-time, uh, a wife or a son, etc., we have surely taken it from us. Who is us? Who is Allah going to marry from so he will have a son? Which is from us. It's just pronouns. What does that mean? Just to pronounce. It's just. Uh, it's pronouns. That's all it is. What does that mean? To be pronounced. Like Muhammad did not use like he or him. He used us and we. 
So are you saying Muhammad? <laughs> so are you saying Muhammad is the one who made the Quran? No, what I'm saying is using a uh, third person. Yeah, but you just said Muhammad. <clears throat> but you just said everybody heard you. Muhammad is not using. Yeah, because he's the messenger. He's, he's giving no, the messenger. the messenger is not the one who make the message. He delivered the message. But what you are saying now to us, everybody heard you, my friend, that Muhammad is making message. He is making the message. Does the Quran yeah, says? Making, uh, does does the Quran does the Quran says that this is the message of Muhammad, or the message of Allah? This is just first person plural pronouns. No, no, I'm asking you. Does the Quran say this is the message of Muhammad or the message of Allah? It's the message of Allah. So the Quran does not say this is the message of Muhammad. This is the message of Allah. Allah saying us and we because He's talking about Himself. Uh, if you can focus with me, what the Quran is saying is it the Quran, the word of Muhammad, or the word of Allah? It's it's Muhammad speaking, but it's from Allah. So is it the so is it the message of Muhammad or the message of Allah? It's the message of Allah. Yes. So why the Quran saying it is the word of Muhammad? Or all right. And you did not answer me about Allah will marry a wife from his kind. So in chapter sixty nine, verse number forty, and chapter eighty one, verse number. 19 it says it is the speech of a noble messenger so is the quran is the word of allah i or, agree it's the speech of muhammad so it's not the word That's, of allah it's not the word of allah no no, no it's um, if i said to you i'm um, uh, they gave a speech uh, uh, it is the speech of a uh, messenger a messenger is someone who relays a message. My friend, if you read with me here, it says it's a revelation. But here it says it's a speech. It can't be both. Because if it's my speech, then it is not a revelation. And Muhammad this never received... And a no, my friend, hold on. If I am delivering a message, this is not my speech. This is not my speech. No, someone when I'm, else. When I'm delivering, someone when I'm delivering the message. You see, but, I'm, but, I'm but, the but no, the Arabic here in the Hula, it says in the Hula, la qawlu rasulin kareem. It is the words, you know, it's the statement is a say of a noble messenger. It's not even a poetry, you know. It's not a poetry, and as you see the rest. So Muhammad obviously here confirmed that the Quran is not from God it's uh, from his own speech now we go if back you continue reading it says uh, min Rabbil okay. okay so now you speak Arabic so that's from, wonderful so it's, it's here it is revelation okay how it's revelation but it's speech of Muhammad because that's what a messenger is no 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 you see it should, no no message. it should say it is the speech is the word of Allah if it is my speech, it cannot be the word of Allah. Either it's my speech. If he, if he said that, people would think he's saying he is God. No, no, no. You see, he just said he's God because he just said that it's my speech. Who is the? Who is my friend? My friend. My friend. Muhammad. Muhammad. He learned this speech from who? From Allah. So this is not his speech. Uh, if he said this is the speech from Allah no he did not say that say no that no the one Allah. fact that at first the one who is talking is Allah not Muhammad supposedly so it says here it is a speech of a noble messenger Allah is saying that it's not even Muhammad supposedly so Muhammad okay. his God confirmed that this is the word you hear is the speech of Muhammad yes all right so it's not from Allah for it's from Allah, it, it is the word of Allah, not the word of Muhammad. But it literally like affirms what I'm saying. Okay, let's go back a little bit. So, okay, okay, let us go back. Let us solve this issue here. So Allah want to take a partner, a wife or a son. He will take it from us. 
who is the one who can partner with Allah and he is us which means from the same kind when I say us I don't mean donkey a horse it, it must be first a human you know like me it must be uh, I'm talking about a wife it must be a woman uh, I'm talking about a son it must be a boy uh, I'm talking a partner it should be somebody equal if we partner together uh, from the same kind like you, you cannot you cannot uh, have a partner between a dog and a horse they cannot make babies uh, but you can make a partner between uh, maybe a horse and a donkey they are from the same family so what is the family of Muhammad which is us which is possible to have him making a partner with a family member who are they Um, are you talking about us, like Nahno? You know, Nahno is just an, you are a Arabic speaker, you know, Nahno is just why, a way why to... You, why you said to me in the beginning you don't speak Arabic when you know Arabic? I know a little bit, that's it. Oh, okay. okay. So but you understand that someone who speaks Arabic, Nahno... My, right. my friend, my friend, my friend. To refer to yourself. Uh -huh. okay. No, no, not yourself. No. When you're talking about no. See, first, when first of all, language. sir. First of all, it's not the word "nahnu" is not even exist there. Same time, the word "nahnu" mean us. You cannot, you cannot say us if you are just one person. However, your God, He used the word "we" by adding the letter "na." You see the "na," "aradna," that is "we." Na. Yes, what's okay. wrong? Listen, you haven't let me finish. Uh -huh. In Arabic, Nahnu is used when you are talking about yourself, okay? Uh -huh. uh, for, for, for respect or, or glorification. That will not work okay. here. That will not work here because near he is going to take a wife. So Allah respecting himself and he will marry himself? No, 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 no I don't think you understand. We're talking about the Creator here. Doesn't matter. Put some respect on His it's name, a, uh, my friend. First of all, if you're okay. if you're a Creator, if you're a Creator is one, why He is saying we? Because we're putting respect on His name. So you are saying we're to saying me. Nahmi. So okay, you. So saying, okay. Uh, who who is the one putting we're, respect? We're, we're, who is the one? Saying, Anna, who, saying, who is the one? Okay. Who is the one putting respect? You or him? Uh, what do you mean? Who is the one saying we? Is it you or Allah? Uh, Allah is saying we. Okay, so you are saying to me, Allah, he find it a disrespect if he is one, so he preferred to be called many, because that will respect him more. So you must him no. don't respect no. God no. and Allah. Yes, because why he came, this is weak is uh, this we is fake. Is, is Allah is one or his his man? When you say nahnu in Arabic. My, fr my friend, this is, uh, this, is this, is, this is this is God. This is this is God. No, this is God. I do not need to use fe fake we to respect me. Same time, I, I've, in, seen, I've seen many kings. Say uh, like exactly, we. king is doesn't the, mean he's talking about a bunch of people. No, the, no, the king, about. my friend, the king. He speak in the name of him and the noble who elected him to be a king. Don't you know what a king is? No, no, no. Yes. When a king says we, they say about No, no, me. and we the king and we are the people. So in the name of the, the, the kingdom, That's I am the king. Yeah, yeah, no, this is how it is. Same time, if your God Allah is one and he like to be called we for sake of respect, that means it's not respectful to say Allah is one. It should be we. So now you're God. You understand Arabic. Nahnu. I know. I, I understand, but this is uh, you know this is false because only false people they would use the yeah, word we. Really. This is false because why I want to, my, my friend. Why I want to say we if I am one, especially I'm, te I'm teaching. I'm teaching monotheism. Yeah. Same time you are trying to escape the, the 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 problem. It says here he will take a partner as a wife. So let us go with you. We is a form of respect. So the respected Allah want to marry a wife from us? Who is this wife from us? Again, us, the same as Nahnu. Right? Okay, but, but the, is, nah, is, Allah, nah, is, is, Allah, is Allah a female? No. 
So Allah, so Allah will, so Allah will marry who? He, he you, yes, I, I want you. Don't, don't, don't take you're stuck with the word we. I'm asking you now. Allah says He want to marry a woman. Who is that woman? Is that Allah too? What do you mean? It says if we want to take a partner, we will take it from us. Who is the partner? A wife, so we can have a son, etc. So the wife now, who is going to be qualified to be the wife of Allah, which Allah, he called it us. You see here, there's different word. Us, us, you see the word us? Yeah, before you explain, I want you to understand the question, because you keep repeating yourself. So, I'm not repeating Okay, so Allah want to take a wife. Allah want to, listen, listen. Allah, Allah want to take a wife. He will take a wife from us. Who is this wife uh, who is from us? Okay, I'm going to explain it or not. Go ahead. Okay, this is just simple gra grammar. Okay, oh, do you okay. know how grammatical structures work? No, I don't. He uses we. We is a subject, first person, plural pronoun. Uh huh. Okay, us is a object, first person, plural pronoun. So <laughs> us is an object pronoun. We is a subject pronoun. We, right? Uh, and then us, as you mentioned, is Kunna, right? So, us is just talking about the we that he talked about earlier. That's all it is. That's it? You finished? So, who's the wife? I mean, what's wrong with you? Who is the wife? He will marry from us, we, grammar, pronoun. Okay. Oh, my friend, listen, you, you, you are giving me no answer. Who is the wife? Who is the wife he is going to have sex with? Don't stop playing the game of us and we and pronoun. He is going to take a partner, a partner. So Allah will partner with himself. And the wife is Allah too? I'm saying, yes, I'm saying he will take it from himself. Allah will have sex with himself? He will not have, he know what does it say he has sex with It says him. wife. Do you see the word wife? So when I take yeah, so when I take a wife, what I do with her? We play cards. You have a son, don't you? No, I don't have a son. I need to have a wife first. No, you, 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 your God has a son. But he, he, he's a God. He does not need a wife. But your God need a wife, as you see. No, he said a wife or a son. Exactly, he would take a wife. How? What kind of God he have a wife? How he is God? Listen, listen. So now we have a problem. No, my God don't have a wife. Prove me wrong. Even your Quran confirmed that Jesus is born of God. He did not need a wife. Born of God. There's no need to have a, to have a wife. He know, he know, he's God. But, but look what happened now. You see, all that. Your God, he cannot have a son unless he have a sex. Is that true? But your God adopted a son, which means... No, he is born of God. He is not adopted. Don't, don't make things up. Your God, you know, he, the Quran confirmed, and your God confirmed that he can adopt. Is that true? Because, because the human understanding is... No, no, I'm asking... Don't tell me human okay. understanding. Your God understanding. So, huh? if Allah wanted to take a son, do he adopt or he marry? He can do whatever he wants. But this is another question. This is uh, another question. When we say that you have a son, we say, God, you, have, you also have a wife. This is, the, this is another question. I'm asking you. You are the one who mentioned adopt. So, is it possible for your God to adopt or not? Adopt a son. God can do whatever he wants, sure. So, what the problem of Muslims? Why he is saying, why in the Quran then Allah saying, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? Why he made a condition that he cannot have a son unless he have a woman. And this is in the Quran. Read with me. Because the human understanding, that's why. No, this is Allah answering now what a human should. Do you, do you you, no, the, the, okay, but now but now the human understand that Allah cannot have a son unless he have a wife. He only gives you a response. Go ahead. Okay. So God is not a God of confusion. Okay. He understands that humans, when they think a God has a son, they automatically think, oh, if God has a son, then he must also have a wife or a woman or something, you know? Because if, how can you have a son without a wife? So, the so, how the, so how come the Christian don't, they are not confused and they don't think that God oh, has a son? Hold on. Do the Christian believe that God, 
their God, he have a wife, and then they have a baby. Yeah, Listen, none, none of them believe, no, don't go there, none of them believe that God, he have sex with the women, and they have a son, his name is Jesus. Don't go there. Even your Quran. Oh, there no, there is not. No, no, there is nobody. No, don't make things up. Don't make things up. Don't. No, listen, the listen, of listen. No, no. It, no, that Mary, the mother of Jesus, yes, she is the mother of God, but this is not the wife yes, of Jesus. You see, my, my friend, my friend, just don't be silly. If Mary is the no, mother of Jesus, and Jesus, okay, hold on. Just to, uh, when we, when, when the, uh, somebody says Mary is the mother of God, he's not lying. Jesus is God. But doesn't oh, so but, but Mary but Mary for that person is virgin. Nobody married her. So stop fooling yourself and lying. Do the Christian do the Christian who say do the Christian who say my friend, be honest. Do the Christian who say Mary the mother of God believe that Mary she have sex with God? Yes or no? Yes. yes. You're a liar. You are, show me who says that. Go ahead. Catholics. Show me, okay, show me where the Catholic is saying, oh, okay, hold on, either, either you admit, either you admit, either, listen, here, here, when I speak, I show you reference, show me reference, where the Catholic is saying, that Mary, she has sex with God, go ahead. I don't have any reference. Then you are, then you are a liar. I heard from Catholics. No, you heard, you heard from nobody, you are a liar. Oh, because you know. if you heard from somebody, then you can find reference. Give me the reference. You're a liar. Admit you're a liar. Big fat liar. Balloon liar. You are dripping lies. Hello? <laughs> he left. Yeah, the Catholic believe in that. Yeah, true story. Big fat liar. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> what a potato. So Allah when I have, Allah when he say he will take a partner. Okay, but if he will take a partner, that means there's a partner, it exists. Who can be qualified to be the wife of Allah? A horse? A goat? Or a human. Go ahead, Ik Ikira. Assalamu Huh? Assalamu alaikum. Hey. Assalamu Okay. Get out of here. Are you taking hashish, Fakira? Jamaica. Stupid. I mean, don't even. <laughs> Shalom alaikum. What, you broke your tooth now? Shalom alaikum. Salam alaikum. But then, sister, first of all, I say I speak English and I don't have a single broken tooth. Really. The only time I went to the Bruce because after the wedding Christian friends. What an idiot. So listen carefully here. This is talking about Allah taking a partner, not Allah saying we only. And the Muslim, they keep saying to us, Allah, he respect himself by saying we. And you know Arabic. But okay, I know Arabic, but your God Allah now is under the influence of Arabic. So is he like putting himself under the Arabic influence and he controlled his name by the Arabic influence, so he feel that those people will not respect me unless I say we. That is the most stupid answer ever. Same time here is talking about taking a partner, a wife. If we want to take a wife, we will take it from us. So the us is already exist, and the if is possible. If we do that, Allah never said I will never do that. If we are going to do that, if I want to marry a woman, I will marry her from us. So there is female gender from the kind of Allah, at least one or two, we don't know. Do we have any Muhammadan? I 
Anyone? The religion of monotheism. And the, uh, the funny he said that Allah is not the God of confusion. He's copying a verse from the Bible. <laughs> this is not in the Quran. The Quran confirmed that Allah is the God of confusion. Here we go. It says it clearly that there is a big part of the Quran. Nobody knows what they mean save Allah. <laughs> and why Muhammad he said that? Because he could not explain the Quran. Why? Because he's copying somebody else writing. When they ask him, he says, nobody knows what this is mean, save Allah. And other, not entirely clear. So, as for those who their heart is in the, the vision uh, from the truth, they follow which is not entirely clear. That means the Quran is a book of deception. Allah, look, Allah is deceiving Muslims. The verse in the front of you. The Muslims with their heart is not uh, the deviation from truth. They follow the part which is not clear. Which part is that? Just get out of here, liar coward liar when they say Mary the mother of God when she is the mother of Jesus and he is their God and our God so it is true we don't want stupid talk here but don't ever lie says that they believe that Mary she had sex with God what a scumbag you are liars liars will end in fire like their prophet Do we have any Muhammadan? This is why Mary in the Bible and in the Quran, she is a virgin, you coward. Shame on you to lie. In fact, Islam cannot explain why Mary is virgin. Cannot explain. Because what the purpose of this miracle? Nothing in Islam. Only it have a purpose in Christianity. For Jesus is a son of no man but God. Mary is virgin. In Islam, what the point? Your mother, and this is a miracle nobody can prove or disapprove. You, you, your mother, she can claim that she was virgin when she gave birth to you. <laughs> Any woman she can claim. Talk is cheap. This is a miracle nobody can see, nobody can investigate, nobody can check. It's too late. Do we have any brave Muhammadan who will not escape the humility? Any followers of the God we? The God we who have a shin, five fingers, a nose and a toes, an ass, a face, a back, yet they say he is not a man. So what he is? A monkey? Hmm? Your God is a fantasy, my friend. If you ask the Muslims, the Muhammadan, actually their God is Muhammad, not Allah. Allah is just a joke. Muhammad, he used the name of Allah to control them. But anyway, if you check this God, who he supposedly the wise person, you will see how stupid. I mean, look at this. He is, he is sending verses in the Quran to confuse Muslims. Because who is going to follow the Quran? Muslims. Why do you want to do that? Is the Quran the book of guidance? The Quran confirmed that it's not the book of guidance. It is the book of deceiving. Read it. To deceive Muslims specifically. So they will use Quran because Quran is not clear to cause fitna as you see. See, here we go. Look, look, look. Which means problems. And here the funny is, it says polytheism trial. But there are Muslims because the one who followed the Quran is the Muslims. <laughs> We don't follow the Quran. <clears throat> 
Mary is the mother of Jesus doesn't mean she is mother of God no she is the mother of God when you speak about Jesus yes she is even maybe you don't like the phrase you know but isn't Jesus your God she is the mother of Jesus why people are so silly why is it so complicated she is the mother of Jesus your God Jesus in the flesh not the mother of God before he exists in, uh, in the flesh. By the flesh, she is the mother of God. But Jesus' existence, Christ, before Mary, the Messiah says, before Abraham I am, which means before the grand, 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 grand father of Mary. So Mary does not exist, Abraham does not exist, or Adam does not exist, but the Messiah was exist. So, by the flesh, Mary is the mother of Jesus. What the problem? But here you see how the Muslims, they lie and they fabricate things about... I'm not a Catholic, you know, but I, I hate liars. I hate liars. Liars is my enemy. It doesn't matter who you are. You claim to be Christian, you claim to be Hindu, you claim, to, especially those who fabricate things about other belief to win an argument. And that is Muslims usually what they do. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? CP, is she the queen of heaven? I mean, those words are silly. Queen of heaven, even the word mother of God. I mean, I find that people are silly looking for titles and people worship titles. But there is no queen for heaven. There is only God. And people, they make things up. Anything is not biblical, is not biblical. Is that clear? Anything is not in the Bible, is not in the Bible, people, they, you know, I can say she is the queen of heaven as she is the best woman in heaven. No problem. But is she really queen with the crown? No. Isn't Jesus in earth, he called her, what do you want from me, woman? He did not even call her mother. Right? He did not even call her mother, you know. What do you want from me, women? Women. He spoke to her in the authority of God. What? Don't you know it's not my time yet, women? So anything is not biblical is a creation of people. And people, they like, you know, to fantasy about things. And, uh, you know, for me, uh, for sure, I love Mary. I respect Mary. And obviously, she is a chosen. I can say my mother is honorable like Mary. No way. I mean, she is the one who God chose to be born through her. So obviously she is a very important person. But at the end of the day, Mary is Mary. is a human like everybody. She's chosen by God. Uh, and that the angels came and they said, blessed are you, you are Mary. So she is very special for sure. But there's no need for those titles and those things. Those are fabrication of people. Why she was chosen? Ask your God. <laughs> According to your Quran, Abdul, Mary, Mary, she was a nun. <laughs> and according to your stupid Quran, do you see the chapter in front of us? It's called Alu Imran. So your stupid God, he, he claimed that Mary is the daughter of Amran, which is the father of Moses. This is why in different verses in the Quran, Muhammad, he says, Mary is the sister of Aaron, which is the brother of Moses. But when a, Jew, a Jewish guy, a rabbi, he said to, he said to Aisha, what, what, your, 
what Muhammad is saying is wrong. You know, there's hundreds of years between Aaron and Mary. She said to him, you are a liar. Aisha said to him, you are a liar. Obviously, Muhammad is what he was teaching. When Muhammad, he heard this, now he tried to fix it. He said they used to call them by the great ancestor. But Aaron is not the great ancestor. Same time, Aaron is not even from the tribe of Mary. There's no relationship between them. But Muhammad, he, it's too late now. Because already he made a story about how Mary, who is the daughter of Amran, and uh, Allah, he chosen her, you know, he, he came to Zechariah, sorry, to Amran, and he told him, you will have, etc., a baby, and then the mother, she, she said, uh, a female is not the same as a male. You read the story, very funny story. I mean, even the names Muhammad was so confused with. Suddenly, how in the world Amran become the father of Mary? You tell me. What a stupid prophet. The most obvious false prophet. So, the Muslim Abdul, he says, why Mary, she was a chosen? Read the Quran. Chapter 3, verse number 33, it says, Allah, He chosen Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham and the family of Amran from all the world. Okay, where is the family of Moses? If Amran is not the father of Moses, any Muslim can tell me? <laughs> What is the family of Muhammad? And if you say to me, Muhammad is descended from Abraham, which is false, well, then there is no need for Al Amran. Here we go, Ali Ibrahim, all the children of Ibrahim. So, why Al Amran? And here you see Allah, he jump, supposedly. Do you remember when Mary, the wife, sorry, the wife of Amran, she said, Oh my Lord, I have vowed for you that the child in my womb to be dictated for your service. <laughs> Do you see it? So Mary, she was, a, she was a nun in Islam. So her mother, she vowed that her whoever the baby in her uh, womb will be devoted to God. It doesn't matter who is the baby. And Allah accept. And then when she gave birth to her, she said, uh, you know, female? Female a child? You know, what I will do now? It's not the same. A female child is not the same as a male. Because she voted, now she vowed that this child will be serving God. And now, Mary, she was protected from shaitan. So according to Islam, Mary cannot be touched by shaitan, neither her offspring, which is Jesus. So Jesus and Mary, according to Islam, are protected from the devil. Do you see it? Muhammad is not protected. The Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a sinner. To the point Allah, he say, may Allah forgive your sin. Because Allah cannot forgive the sin of Muhammad. So Allah have to pray to other Allah saying that, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. See it? So how Allah is God? If Allah is God, you do not need to pray to other Allah, saying, may Allah forgive your sin. You are God. What do you mean, me? Me? Maybe, maybe possible, maybe not. Any Muhammadan?
Jesus said, which one is easier to say? Go and your sin is forgiven or carry your bed and walk? Jesus forgives sin. Allah cannot forgive sin. That may Allah forgive your sin. You remember guys, I showed him the verse that says, this is the Quran made by Muhammad. He said, no, no, no. This is his delivering a speech from Allah. Okay. If this is Allah speaking, why Allah saying that Allah may forgive you your sin? There's no way if Allah is talking, if he's true God, he will say that may Allah forgive your sin. It's a, it's a wish. This is a supplication. If I say may God forgive you, but obviously I cannot. I'm making a wish. Do we have any Muhammadan? Somebody saying we intercede through Mary, but she is a human. But why you do not need to intercede? Why, why you want to intercede with the Mary? Why why she will intercede for you? If you have God Himself, He came to you. Why you need even any, me? Why you need Peter? Why you need Paul to intercede for you? No, Jesus. You have the Messiah Himself. He said. Uh, the one who is tired, come to me, knock at my door, I will open for you. Anything is not biblical, remember, it is not biblical. And then some, they try to bring a verse from here. They do it like the same as Muslims, they use duct tape, you know. Like duct tape here, duct tape here, the saints, the etc. Intercede. The Bible is so clear. Anything is not biblical, it's not biblical. I can ask any Christian to pray for me. I can ask if Paul in front of me, Paul, brother, pray for me. Paul will be happy to pray for me. But this is different. <clears throat> any Muhammadan? Do we have any brave Muhammadan? Thank you for the one who posted the verse in First Timothy. First Timothy two five. Any Muhammadan? Go ahead, Omar. What do you want to say to us? Hello. Hello. What are we talking about? We are talking about... Uh, you have a noise. Oh, it's my fan. Oh. It was my fan. It's all right. Okay, so we are talking about like the promise of Allah of heaven. How you explain to uh, to us Allah? He promised you like women and boys in heaven. What is that about? I don't know. Aren't you a Muslim? Yes, I'm Muslim, but I have not been Muslim for that long. Okay, like how long you are a Muslim now? One month. Why you became a Muslim? Well, I was just invited to, from my friends to the masjid and I became Muslim. Okay, so they invite you to the masjid and then you become a Muslim without knowing what you are converting to? Yes, I'm Muslim. Huh? Can you say that again? You have a noise in your back. I don't know what is that. My bad. All right. 
So you they invite you to the mosque and you become a Muslim, but you did not tell me why you became a Muslim. What is the reason you become a Muslim? So if somebody invite me to the house of the devil, I became devilish. I convert to devilism. What do you mean? Why you convert to Islam? I don't have a reason. I just did. Okay, but but what, what do you know about Islam? Nothing. You convert to religion. You do not know. Okay, let me show no, you. Let me show you your future wife in heaven. I hope you will like her. Do you see the screen? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, this is your wife in heaven. Oh no. Yeah, this is how your wife will look in heaven. I'm serious. I'm not joking. Can you show me her deeds? Sure. Here we go. You're a prophet. <clears throat> explain to us how Muslim women they look like in heaven which is very beautiful by the way I like it for me I am very much attracted to, to bones this is the hadith and this is in front of you it says they will be so beautiful who will be beautiful pure and transparent the marrow of their bones of their legs will be seen through the bones of and the flesh do you see it Yes. All right. So this is your wife in heaven. Are you now happy? That's our Muslim. Not too beautiful. You know? Why not? I mean, it's sexy. I don't know. Uh, no, no, not sexy at all. Wow! Come on. This is this is what Islam promised you. What? Uh, that's it. You are stuck with it. You like it. You don't like it. This, okay. Let me change the position. Maybe this is. Maybe this position is not nice. What about this one? No? What? Uh, My friend, come on. Look. Okay, what about this one? This one I think look nicer. Uh, uh, what? Uh, okay, hold on. I, I'm going to tempt you more. What about this one? Uh, no. No? <laughs> okay, just wait. Have patience, man. You know? Okay, what? Ah, this is the one. Look at this one. <laughs> Yeah, are you laughing at what? You, you became a Muslim for this? <laughs> I don't know. So how, how in the world do you believe in such a stupid religion like this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So what? You believe in stupidity? Come on. Well, I don't know. Then you leave Islam. What you don't know? <laughs> Either you accept it, and you accept the the last uh, gift of Allah for you, the most important gift, or you refuse it. Do you refuse it or you accept it? Well, let's say this was true, okay? You know, it is true. true. Not, I, just, you know, um, I just showed you what your prophet so what, said. I just showed you what your prophet said. What do you mean? Let us say it's true. What do you mean it's true? Let us say? Did well, I? Did if I, it's true, it, it's, it's just true. Yeah, it's true. I showed you the reference, right? Yes. Okay. So, you, 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 do you think a really a true God will will promise you such a stupid thing? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You were laughing a second ago. What, what, what makes a true God a true God? What, yeah, a true God is not someone you laugh at what he say. You just laugh at what he said. You laughed yourself. Everybody heard you. I know I left. Yeah, so you love many times, not only once, not only twice, not three times. So you love many times at what Allah told Muhammad. So if Allah is God, why are you are laughing at him? I don't know. Because it's stupid. Allah is stupid, obviously, so you loved. Yes, okay. that appears to be true. All right, so Allah is a stupid, so now you are out of Islam. You just called Allah stupid. I agree, many. I agree with you. Allah is a stupid. I guess so. All right. Well, I'm happy that you left Islam. And look, not only this, uh, you know, if you are uh, in Islam heaven, only white people are welcome. So the first batch of Muslims will enter heaven. Allah will make them whiter. They will be glittering like a full moon. White, glittering. 
and the second patch will be glittering like a, a brilliant star. So the heaven of Islam is full of white people only, no black. This is why the Quran says that in the day of judgment, Allah will make all, all non-Muslims black. For Allah, he made black people as a penalty and white people as a reward. I think I've seen the hadith you're referencing to. Well, this is not hadith. This is uh, Quran. But we can show you hadith okay. too. Chapter 3, verse number 106. On the day when faces will be whitened and faces will be blackened. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, that is Islam. This is why Muhammad in the hadith promising you women who they are so white to the point you can see through their bones. You know? Well, did you ask yourself how they can see? Because they are so white. For this Arab idiot, he is very racist. Uh, the hadith that you showed me... Uh about the women in heaven they look like what, what hadith was that I want to write that down well I will, I will give you the link here we go this is Sahih al-Bukhari 3254 and I will, okay. I will post the link and not only that there's other hadith where Muhammad he said when Allah created Adam if somebody can post the hadith for us I'm sure many of you have it already uh, when Allah oh, when Allah created Adam no I post the hadith this is a different one when Allah created Adam, he hit him in his right shoulder and offspring with a white like white ants came. And then he hit Adam. This, in his... I know this one. So why you convert to Islam then? You, you accept you accept that God, he created white people to go to heaven and black people to go to hell? Is that is that what you accept? Oh, I guess so. Are you racist? I would like to accept that. No, no. So why you accept it? I don't know. Come on, my friend. I mean, aren't you an adult? How old are you? 17. Ah, so they lied to you. Okay. Well, as you see, my friend, you are like you are young, but this is very stupid cult. This is very evil cult. Uh, mistake in history, racism, stupidity, uh, disgusting promises, endless penis. So, but any, anyway, I'm I'm happy that you decide to leave Islam today. Correct? Are you out of Islam today? Ah, man. You want to stay a Muslim? You laughed at Allah already. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so you have only one word for me. I don't know. Are you taking hashish? What is that? Are you taking hash hash like drugs? Why you keep saying I don't know? Already you laugh at Allah. So what do you mean I don't know? If one day you get married, if you if one day you get married and your son says to you, Dad, are you my dad? What you say to him? I do not know. Are you stuck with this kind of sentence? No. Okay. So stop saying to me I do not know. Do you accept what you, you, you saw on the screen? Or you don't? No. Okay, then you are out of Islam. Very good. What do I do now? Well, I don't know what you do. Uh, you know, for you, if, if you want to be, uh, if you are looking for a truth, the only truth, I believe, is, is Jesus, you know. There's no better than Messiah to follow. He is God. He's a miracle. He's amazing. He's a, you know, he give you a, a life standard which nobody can give. Uh, so why anyone will forsake the Messiah and go after a child molester like Muhammad? So why don't accept the Messiah as your savior? Yeah, sure. Alright. So do you accept him as your savior? I 
I think I need to read and study the Bible a little bit before I do that. All right. Well, sound good. What do you think about the Messiah as a person? Loving, perhaps. So already you know about the Messiah. My friend, I advise you that, uh, I mean, you are young, yes, but don't be foolish and don't let people drive you here and there. Be a man. I was in your age one day, but I don't, nobody can fool you, fool me to the point, invite me somewhere and make me believe in such a stupid religion without knowing what I'm going to believe in. The first thing you do is to check you are believing in what. It's not just like, okay, ah, okay, a friend, my friend, invite me. So what if my friend, they want to take, make me uh, take drugs? I'm going to listen to them? No. Drugs can, will kill me, will destroy me, will not make me a better person. Anything in life, and this is my advice to you, you are still young. Anything in, advice, in, in, in life doesn't make you a better person. It's a bad, foolish decision to do. Anything. Doesn't matter what it is. So if a Christianity make you a better person, then Christianity is for you. And obviously Islam does not. Islam teach you hatred, violence, and stupidity. And racism. So if I'm you, I will accept the Messiah as my savior, but for sure this is your choice. And you said you will read the Bible, it's up to you. I think I should keep studying Arabic. Sorry? Say again? Do you think I should keep studying Arabic? What, you study Arabic for what? You are not a Muslim no more. But you can study Arabic, who cares? I mean, uh, knowledge is good. Knowledge doesn't hurt. But no one Arabic will make you laugh more about Islam. <laughs> the more you know Arabic, the more you will find Islam so stupid. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for being here. And we are happy that you left Islam. We, we hope soon you will become a Christian and you will see the truth and the truth will set you free. All right? All right, take care. All right. So what? Like my friends invite me to the mosque and then, you know, they fool me. I mean, this is, this is the most stupid cult ever. Look at, look at my beautiful wife. By the way, I want to confess some sin I do. Each time when I look at those pictures, I get so excited. Extremely. Because, you know, like one of the dish I like to eat is, uh, you know, I cook yogurt with bones. Oh boy, it tastes so good. I don't know if there's women, they fit in that dish, but I don't know. But I mean, look at this. I mean, look, there's marrow, there's bones, and we need just yogurt. Right? And there's a river of milk in the heaven of Allah. I think we can make yogurt there. Easy. Is it easy? So you bring this woman who is made of bones. You first cook the yogurt. You know, Do you know how to cook yogurt? Anyone who knows how to make this dish? Ah, this is a dish you guys, you need to learn how to make it. It's very delicious, but it's good for like winter time. Like now we are leaving winter. Some areas still cold, some areas are not. <clears throat> it's a very delicious dish. Oh boy. Any Muhammadan? This guy, Muslim, in the chat, he is praying on Muhammad. Salawatun ala Muhammad. <laughs> I mean, look at this stupid religion. The guy is a prophet, supposedly, and then Allah and his mess and Allah and the Muslims and the angels praying on Muhammad. Look like Muhammad is not going to go to heaven to the point he needs everybody to please pray, pray on Muhammad, pray on Muhammad, pray on Muhammad, the dead Muhammad. <laughs> this is how his case is hopeless. Anyway, let me teach you a dish. Ladies, ladies, are you listening? Let us vote here in Rumble, in YouTube, and Discord. Ladies, do you want me to teach you how to make the dish I'm talking about? This is a very, very delicious. This is one of my favorite dishes. 
but I don't like to eat it before I go live because if I eat it and I go live, I promise you, I will sleep on the microphone. <laughs> All right, you guys don't want me to teach you, no problem. All right, all right. What domination is CP? Well, sometimes I like nine millimeters, sometimes 45, they bend. Sometimes I like Schmeiser, you know, what domination? In Christianity, there's no domination. All those domination is your creation. Jesus is our Lord and the one who followed the Messiah will be saved. Domination doesn't save you. Priest cannot help you. Bishop, Pope, Orthodox, Protestant, Catholic, those names are not what will save you. The Savior is the Lord, the Messiah, and nothing else. Those who look for domination, they will end with, with their domination. Those who look for Jesus, they will end with Jesus. All right. <clears throat> Any Abdul? So CP is non dimensional I am, the guy is the non demotion <laughs> He gave me a new name now, non demotion <laughs> I mean, people are really weird. So CP is non demotional Look, what the heck is that? Is that a new section? Uh, is that a new sect too? We just said, the Messiah is our Savior. No demonation, no non-dimensional, not the bodhivational. What's wrong with people? And what is what is your interest in such a silly question? The question is: Is Christian Prince is a Christian? Obviously, his name is a Christian, and he's speaking about converting to Christianity, trying to convert people. So is I mean, people, man, people. Man. I don't know what people they eat. I don't know what their mother she was wishing for before she gave birth to them. I think she was wishing for the emotional food. And then after she ate the emotional, she said, hmm, doesn't taste good. Next baby, I'm going to wish not the emotional food. Lord have mercy. This will remind me of the Abdul. If you remember Abdul's, Muhammad told them, whoever write hadith from me, erase it. The smart Abdul, right away, he start writing, the Prophet, he said, <laughs> whoever write hadith from me, erase it. <laughs> you either, he just so told you not to write it. Betito, he just told you not to write the hadith. He wrote, the Prophet, he said, whoever took hadith from me, uh, he erase it. What the heck? Intelligence. Let us search for the hadith. <laughs> we cannot find it here. Hold on. Let us see. <clears throat> I mean, do you see how super smart the Mohammedan are? The big Abdul, he just told them not to write anything except the Quran don't correct don't collect the hadith and the Abdul he wrote the Prophet he says don't collect Quran
Muslim. Guys, look what the Muslim Muslim is saying. Non-demotional is a literal extension or at from uh, the side of uh, pro legend uh, uh, aspect. Uh, log so pro pro god pro god aspect or part of something which is added. Abdul, just me, just let me refute you in two seconds. Your stupid prophet, he says that the most divided people are the Muslims. So if you are saying Christianity because we have a uh, division of uh, sect, look what your prophet said. <laughs> the most divided sect is Muslims. Do you know how to read? All of this, do you see? Do you see it? Your prophet confirmed that the most divided sect, sectarian religion, is Islam. Look how many times he repeat that. And all of this is authentic. Do you see it? The prophet said the Jews were split into 71 or 72. And the Christians were split into 71 or 72. And my community will be split into 73 sect. <laughs> so you are a funny Abdul potato. You do not know your religion. <laughs> what a potato Muhammad. He got you busted. This is why Muhammad, he told him not to write what he say. Because Muhammad, he made endless poo which is a kind of a sexual harassment to the stupid Muslims. A sect is a subdivision and a demonation is a separate. Well, your prophet, he said, the most sectarian, just to show you what you are. According to your prophet, only one sect of the Muslim will go to heaven. So stop playing with the words. Do you see it? Only one Muslim sect will go to heaven. Read it. One, only one, which will be in paradise and 72 Muslims sect will be in hell. Do you see it? So stop playing with the word sectarian, the subdivision. You know, a sect is a subdivision. A domination is separate and not a division. So if they are a subdivision, why they will go to hell? <laughs> Potato, 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 potato. Do we have any Muhammadan? As you see, according to Islam, the most deceived people in the world are Muslims. Not the Christians, not the Jews, the Muslims. self serving recognize a branch you are giving me false interpretation for what your prophet said your prophet says you will go to hell you can call yourself whatever you want the muslim 72 sect are going to hell guaranteed one of them will go to heaven who they are the minority not the majority so go and find the smallest sect in islam that is the one will go to heaven Here you see it says the main body. This is not what it says in Arabic. It says a jama'a. A jama'a is the one who they are the only Muslims. This is not about main body and a jama'a. The group. Which is a group? Every one of those sects says I am the group. Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, maybe the only real true Muslims is uh, ISIS. But even ISIS, they say, like Al-Qaeda, they say ISIS will not go to heaven. We will go to heaven. That's why they kill each other, you know.
All right, I think we have enough for today. May the shin of Allah forgive your sin, Muslims. Don't forget to pray to the shin of Allah. Mormons are Christians with completely different views of you. You're a stupid like your prophet. Mormon aren't Christians. They have different scriptures. They have different books. They have different heaven. They have different messenger. You're an idiot. Christians is the one who don't accept any other scriptures. Any other scriptures. And there's no prophets came after the Messiah and the disciple. Those are the last. That's it. So anyone who claimed to be a prophet after that is a false prophet. All of those are false people. So when you say stupid things, you say Christians, you should know, you idiot, that if the Christian did not recognize them and they have different books, how in the world they are Christians? You're an idiot. But it's you Muslims who spit at each other. And nobody knows what is Muslim is about. Like just to show you, when I ask you about Allah will have uh, a wife, you did your best to ignore my question. And you were talking about a grammar. But just to show you how stupid you are and how you are a fake Muslim. Chapter 21, verse number 17. If we go right now and read the interpretation, you will see that you gave me an interpretation is totally different from every single Muslim interpretation. So now you just created your own sect, which disagree with the Quran, having your understanding, and now you will go to heaven. <laughs> so if we go in the Quran, here we go. This is your stupid book. And I will not show you my interpretation. I will show you yours. Uh, this is in English or in Arabic? In English, let us show in Arabic. Sorry, in English. So 21. All right. Read and laugh. <clears throat> Who is the female Allah is going to have sex with? Read with me carefully. <laughs> it's okay. It says here. Had we desire to have some diversion, that which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child, we would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed Huris or the angels. Allah is going to if Jibreel. Do you see it? So guys, when we gave him the microphone, this guy, Muslim, what he did? Grammar, his sake of respect, we... I asked him 10 times, 15 times, when Allah, he say, a partner from us who is us it's a language it's a you know no. <laughs> it's a language <laughs> so you have a new religion now see how Muslims are hypocrite it's, and he said that the Quran is not the book of confusion obviously it's not <laughs> oh boy guys I need to take a look before I go to bed hold on no. oh boy you know, those images are so hard for me as a sing single man. I mean, life is not fair. Why I don't have a woman like this in my bed now? Why? And instead, I'm, look, I mean, look who, who is listening to me. Look who is calling me. Why those whore don't call me? Why? Oh Allah. Can you call, can you ask those one of those female, Mrs. Bonnie? And now I know why there's an American band, brand, uh, band music band, it's called, it's called Bonnie M? Maybe Bon M? Bones of Muhammad? I don't know. So, I mean, why? Is that fair? One would have 72 at least and 80,000 little boys. All of them like this, all of them. They are three, three see-through. And the boys, brother, they are not for sex. No, a'uzu billah. It's just to serve you, brother, serve you. 
So now I know why in France they say bon oui, bonjour. Because those French people, they are just desperate to get to heaven to Allah and get the bones. You know, we need we need we need to look at the language in deep, you know, deep method. Anyone he uh, he went to uh, to Paris, they said to you bon oui, bonjour. Like what the heck? They are obsessed with bones. If I am a French, I should convert to Islam immediately. I mean, look, all the bonjour you want is there. Bonjour, bon door, bon with soup, bon without soup, bon with panty, bon without panty, <laughs> bon with high heels, bon without heels, bon appetite, all kind of bon, bon job Biden, whatever you want. You have all the bones you want. Bonnie, bonnie. <clears throat> <laughs> I hope I'm not making you fat by laughing too much. You get you gain weight, you know. Just uh, man, oh. oh, did I touch my head? Yeah, I did. I have a fever after looking at those pictures. Let me change the picture. Maybe the other one will cool me down. Oh, this one is even making me make my. This is make my blood boil, you know. Oh boy, look at this. Oh, oh, this is so much. Look at this, he's staring at me. Are you looking at me, honey? Really? No way. Me, me? Bon bon? Come to me, bonnie, bonnie. <laughs> By the way, do you make noise when I've touched you? Like, you know, your bones, they like they make sound of bones, like, you know, touch them together, like, you know? Like, you know, if we touch two bones, like, you know, like, you know? Like, is that the sound or is it different? Like, you know, what is the sound? Like, you know, that's amazing, beautiful. You know, like, uh, so... Oh, oh, that's something else. Look at the spine. The spine is driving me crazy. I mean, the spine alone, I can cook it with yogurt for 10 years, man. This is, will make a lot of very delicious dish. I will teach you about this yogurt dish later. Actually, I will make it a private, so only those who pay me will... You know, nothing for free these days, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, except Christian Prince, he do what he do for free. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, I say to you, bon oui, or bonjour. And all those bones are yours. Or what you need to do, say shahada. And you get all, look at this. Listen, listen. Don't print this picture and put it around your bed porn is haram don't do that porn is haram as you see they are naked brother haram <laughs> all right may the lord bless you Thank you, everybody, in Discord, in Rumble, in YouTube. I hope you guys, you had a good time. And you did learn something for today. Again, Happy Easter. And as you see, we cannot compare between the faith of Muhammad and the holiness of the Messiah. This is cannot be from anyone. Anyone. He can even be close to, not even God. I mean, the, a person who work, serve God, a servant of God. Any decency, there's no way. A person have little decency, he will come with such a garbage. Remember always, only Satan, he use your desire to tempt you, not God. Sex, money, power. God will not use those to bring him to him, bring you to him. God will bring you to him by love, by passionate, by decency, by loyalty. Like men love your women. Love your women. How you love your women? That's mean you don't love any other woman. You love your women. You become one with her. 
unity. Marriage in Christianity is not a sex in bedroom. It's a unity. It's a unity by God. In Islam, there's nothing but sex contract. Sex pleasure. Even Muhammad allowed them to rent women. Imagine renting women. Even in their website, it says renting women. Can you believe it? I mean, what kind of religion says that you can rent women only on the garbage of Muhammad? You know, like uh, when I show people about uh, Islam in the beginning, like long, long time ago, you know, internet was different. I can't know if you remember. It was DSL, and you have to log in, and there's no Google translation, and there's no YouTube like now. Uh, I used to translate everything by myself because there's no Sahih Bukhari in English, not none of that, you know. So I opened the page in Arabic, but now I was really shocked when I saw the Muslims even in their translation. Because usually the Muhammadan, when they translate, they hide the embarrassment stories in their religion. So here, as an example, you will see here, if I look for the word rent, look, look, this is a pure Muslim website. Read carefully with me. Rented women, do you see it? Read, read carefully. In some work, a special term applied to a woman who participate in muta, in Arabic musta'jara, which means mut, rented, or rented women. Muta are considered as a rental, a kind of rental, because the general basic, man, man basic of this kind of marriage, they call it marriage, listen, listen, they call this marriage, is a sex and enjoyment of a woman. In return of this enjoyment, the women she receive certain amount of money or property. Do you see it? Is that the religion of God or this is the religion of the devil? Do you see it? This is how garbage this cult is. Rented women. A Muslim woman, she wear hijab and she rent her vagina to any filthy man who want to park his penis in that garage. And yet they claim that Islam is religion of God and religion of women protection when in the fact Islam is religion of non-protection for women, sexual abuse, and sex maniac followers. No way any person will follow such a garbage unless he himself is from the same equality of garbage. So, and they are talking now about the, the, the condition of the, the formula of rent. <laughs> you know, when you see rented, you think you are talking about renting an apartment, renting a house. No, we are talking about renting a human being. And she is the mother of a Muslim, or the sister of a Muslim, or the daughter of a Muslim. Let us discuss how we can rent them. The formula, the persons, those are the pillars of Muta. And by the way, it's from the Quran. The time, the period, because you have to tell her for how long you have going to sleep with her. Right? And then she agree. And then you go to bed. And then there's no need for divorce. No divorce. Because when the time is up, this contract is up. No divorce. Because it's not a marriage anyway. Anyway, Lord have mercy. Garbage in, garbage out.
This is how stupid Islam is. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will try to come tomorrow again if I could. And as you see, I'm trying to come in different time. So people from different location, they can join us. Like now, people who they are in India, in Korea, in Philippines, in Indonesia, they can join us. I know now they are eating rice in the morning. <laughs> you know, I know what are you eating. Don't fool me. You go to Korea, they have rice juice. Rice popsa cola, rice sandwich, rice uh, dish, rice cake, rice cookie. I, I don't know. I mean, everything is made from rice. I, I think the furniture there is made from rice. And I think the same is on all, like, uh, you know, Indonesia, Philippines, you know. So I know what you're eating. Now, don't lie to me. I know what you are doing. I know you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I know all your secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, happy rice day, everybody in Asia. And uh, happy hummus day, if you are uh, an Arab. And uh, happy falafel, you know, if you are Israeli. And happy... Uh, hold, okay, I don't want to open a new topic now, but the Quran mentioned the word banana. I want to forget that. <laughs> happy banana day if you live in Hawaii. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all and keep you in good health and wealth. And this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. See you soon again.